I'm Maureen. And I'm Doreen. And we are from the Webster Public Library, once again filming one of our Let's Explore Webster video series. And today we have with us... I'm Missy Rosenberry. I am a member of the Village of Webster Parks Committee. And I'm really happy to be here because I think there are a lot of people in Webster who don't realize that the Village actually has six different parks. So we're going to give you a quick tour of every one of those parks today. Absolutely. So we're here at Gateway Park, which is our first stop. Uh, Gateway Park is very appropriately named because it sits at the corner of Route 104 and North Avenue. Um, so it welcomes drivers and walkers to our village. There's a nice walking path. It's very short, but it's kind of nice. There's a lot of gardens in the, in the entrance to the park and a couple of benches. So if you just want to sit down, have a cup of coffee and watch the world go by, you can do that. Uh, another nice thing about Gateway Park, which is, by the way, our newest village park, um, it connects up to the Route 104 bike trail, which is a six mile trail. And from here, it goes east to Salt Road and it goes west to Bay Road. So just up North Avenue from Gateway Park, right at the village's four corners is Veterans Memorial Park. Obviously this is named after the Veterans Memorial here at the southeast corner of the park, erected in honor of the men and women who fought for our country. This is a gorgeous park uh, that has rings by gardens, um, has several benches for you to sit and relax at. Uh, this is probably the village's uh, most well-known and popular park, mostly because of the gazebo. A lot of people come here on Friday nights during the summer for the Friday night concert series. Uh, they also have comedy shows here during the summer and some village ceremonies are often held here. Uh, the large green space is also home to the summer concert in the or, uh, movies in the park series where families will come with their chairs and their blankets and they set up a huge movie screen and they'll sit here and watch movies and munch on free popcorn. Uh, one of the other lesser known features of this park is over there in the southwest corner of the park where there's actually a plaque set into the gardens that honor those who lost their lives in 9-11. Our third stop is here at Milton Case Memorial Park, which is on South Avenue, just south of the village by about a uh, half mile or so. This I consider a hidden treasure in the village because we're only a short walk from the village, but there are 14 acres of woods here and a half mile of trails. So the half mile of trails here at Milton Case Park will take you all the way over to Wood Street, which is one of two entrances to this park. The first one is here on South Avenue, and there's no parking here except on the street. Wood Street, um, there is some parking there, so if you wanted to bring your car and park over on Wood Street, there is another entrance there. Both entrances have trail maps to show you where the trails will go. So you can walk all the way from here to Wood Street, but also to the playing fields at Spry Middle School. So what's really nice, about this park is that, let's say you wanna bring your dog for a walk or bring your kids for a walk, or you just wanna get out after dinner for a nice short nature walk and not even have to leave the village. This is perfect. Not far from the west entrance of uh, Milton Case Park on Wood Street is our fourth stop, Wilmerite Park on Iroquois Street. Now, you may have passed this park before but since most of it is tucked back off the road, if you haven't had a chance to actually stop and go back and explore, you're missing a lot. So once you get back here at the Wilmerite Park, you can see that there's a beautiful playground here. Uh, there's a basketball court, picnic tables, benches, and a huge open area. So you can bring your dog here for a run. It's great for 
hitting balls, throwing a frisbee. Basically, this is a beautiful place to bring your family for an afternoon and everyone's gonna have fun. So our fifth park is on the west side of the village. Chance Park has entrances off of Holly Drive and State Road. So Chance Park is another great family destination. There's something for everyone in your family to do no matter what age. Over here, there's a full-size basketball court. Behind me, there's a picnic table and a grill, which you can't see because it's behind the tree. There's also a very nice playground over here, which is a, a multi-age playground. So different ages will have fun over here. There's even a, a new climbing wall for the smaller kids to play. Finally, there's a uh, baseball field over there, complete with bleachers. So if um, you've got some budding baseball or softball players in your house, this is a great place to practice. So our final stop on our Webster Village Parks Tour is Harmony Park, located on the very eastern edge of the village at the corner of Phillips Road and Foster Drive. Harmony Park is another very appropriately named park because every summer the Webster Village Band holds weekly concerts here in the large band shell. It's got a lot of open green space which is perfect for families to come and spread their blankets out or bring their quad chairs and listen to some beautiful band music while the sun's setting. It so happens that the band shell has also been hosting uh, Webster Public Library programs, most recently a dance party and some story times. And I happen to know that the library is planning some more events coming up in the next several weeks. So make sure you check their website and look them up.